Dark Souls 3? But with five times the enemies. Hi, I'm a masochist. No, I'm pants. And I like to do stupid ideas like this. That is my crotch. Maybe because I am a masochist. Maybe? Probably. I don't know. But whatever the case, I do this because... Because of you guys. My goal by the end of this run is to kill all the bosses and figure out what the hell this mod has in store for me. Enjoy! <laughs> Let me introduce you to... Wilson! <laughs> He's so cute. You better hide your kid! He'll be praying for death after we're done with him, though. Hey, yeah. <laughs> now it's time to face the army of enemies that await us. First was trying to get past the multitude of enemies that are blocking me from visiting the Crystal Lizards because I remember that there's an item back there. Uh, oh, shit! No! And after eventually dealing with the enemies, we get to see this. <laughs> and the only thing I could say about it is... Thank you, Dark Souls. So I decided to start walking on by, sneaking past them so I don't catch their attention. I thought they moved. No. Oh my god. Uh, oh, oh, oh. But that didn't work. I did, however, get the item, and I will say... Get the soul! Oh! It was totally worth the 800 souls. <laughs> you better stop! Feeling confident in my Dark Souls ability, I attempted to slay each of the Crystal Lizards for the chunks they dropped. And while I did Ooh. kill a few, none of them dropped Ooh. the chunks, and I died. The Crystal Lizards gave me the idea that items can only drop from the original copy of the enemies that spawn. Wait, what? So to put it in simpler terms, for every five enemies, only one of the five enemies can actually drop the intended item they're supposed to. This is going to be hell. Bonfire. I really wanted to land this plunging attack, but I ended up having to face oh the god. wrath of hollows oh themselves. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. How fun. On my next life, I lured them out so I didn't get brazzered again. After defeating an army, I had an idea which needed fire bombs, and since there was no way I was going to kill all of the hollows over there, Bitch, I, hope the fuck you do. I took one for the team. Oh, oh no, get the fire bomb! Come Thank on, you. yeah, okay, mission complete. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> I'm dying. Oh no, help me! Then I got the titanite shard. Nice. Reset the enemies. Got molested. Oh hell yeah! Twice. Oh hell yeah! Make that three times. Oh, hell yeah! Dealt with the enemies blocking the boss arena. <laughs> Watch yes. the gun deers kill each other. Yes! <laughs> Die! Yes, some of the bosses can do damage to each other. Only some, though. The ones that can and can't, well, we're gonna have to figure that out. Also, RIP gun deer one, two, and three. Remember the fire bombs I sacrificed my life for? No! <laughs> I can now use them to do damage against gun deer number four. Huh? They didn't do nearly enough damage as I thought they would, but I regret nothing. And down went the fourth gun deer. He's dead! Try! Now all we have left is to yank the sword out of this gun deer and have a completely normal boss fight. Try me, bitch. Fight! You thought! Open, Open sesame. sesame. I came very close to dying here. Not the day. Got a homeward bone. Thank you. Dealt with some enemies. Got him. Ran to Firelink. Met the conjoined <laughs> fire keepers. Ashen one. <laughs> Began bopping with Andre. Hey! Yeah. I'm cringe. And that's a fact. Reinforce my fire longsword with a fire Spicy. gem. Nailed this tree. Nailed this tree jump. Oh, shit. More homeward bones. Crystal lizards are almost impossible to deal with since they all scatter the second you try to kill them and only one of them drops the shards you need. I love this mod. Grabbed an Estus shard. Oh, yeah. And that ring that gives you all the souls. Yeah, Lastly, I bought healing aid and a talisman from the handmaiden. And now we're ready to go kill the sword guy back there. I don't know why there's only one, but I'm glad because this would have been hell without it. Time for the high wall of life. I wanted to grab the titanite shard from the creatures in this general vicinity, but yeah, I couldn't even make it to the stairs. <laughs> Still a piece of garbage. Now we have the other direction, and there are way too many enemies. Ah, ah. It's practically the walking dead at this point. Ah. It was a slow burn, but through perseverance, I killed a majority of the hollows on the lower floor. Help me! Help me! Now, there is a set of binoculars on that top floor, and later in the game, there is an image with a lot of booba in it. And you see, I'm a cultured man. No, you're fucking not. Dead man tell no tales, as they say. Said, no, you're fucking not. So I killed a never-ending list of enemies, then just booked it, and okay, I'm dead. Go, go, go. Maybe the binoculars aren't- Okay, I ran past the mob. Oh, no, oh, this is a bad idea, this is a bad idea. Booked it to the binoculars, got pushed <laughs> off. Oh, no, oh, oh. 
I forgot about that. I forgot. Still alive though. Bro, yeah. bro, oh, oh, run! Why are we still here? Just to suffer. I killed the mob for the third time. I don't want to do this no more. Got more fire bombs. Thank you. Got blocked by the spear hollows. Committed a grave arson. Oh my god. Try to get the dragons to burn all the hollows underneath me. <laughs> That didn't work. Booked it to the door. Got surprised by the mimics. I can't risk getting... There's five of them. <laughs> no shit. Ran past the Lothric Knights. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh! Rested at the bonfire. Now I'm gonna make an attempt at getting the deep axe from the mimics near the ladder, which will help me fight against Vort. But every time I tried, oh, I died. Decided to start heading to Vort. Did not expect to get absolutely soul crushed. Run! They asked me how you are. to say that you're fine. This time I booked you for the Crystal Lizards. Oh, 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 oh. Got a good hit in. And in death, got the raw gems I was looking for. Success! On my third attempt, I died again. Kill each other, not me! But my fourth attempt, I actually made it to the next area. Died. Oh, for goodness sake! Died again. I need help! Made it a bit farther this time. Got a shield before getting shanked. After making it back, I grabbed the Estus Shard. Help! Yeah! But I got it. Damn right. Yeah. This run was a tad different as I took the easy route in jumping down to the battle top enemies. Yahoo! This is where I figured out summons don't need to be summoned in order to be summoned. What? What is that? They helped me fight against the hollow pinball machines, but they ended up losing and I ended up getting shot. <laughs> Next run, I didn't make it as far, <laughs> nor the run after that. Gravity. But after that run, now we're talking. I was able to Avengers assemble with the summons near the gate, and like every background character in Endgame, I did nothing to help out, which gave me time to grab some fire bombs. Thank you. And the Wig Knight Halberd. Yes! With the boys helping me out, yes! I killed all the Battletop enemies. Yes! Yeah! Yes! And got the elevator checkpoint. Yes! Yes! And even though we got the checkpoint, I died. No! 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 But using the checkpoint to get down, I killed the Lothric Knights. Witnessed the dancers kill each other. No, that's interesting. Time to head to Vort. This brings a new definition to gatekeeping. Speaking of gatekeeping, have you guys heard of NordVPN? No, I, this is not a sponsor stream. I had to literally squish my way to activate this cutscene. That says a lot about what I'm facing. After the actual Vort spawned in, I ran. Run! Luckily, the Vorts ended up killing themselves, running into each other more than they ran into me. Stop it. Leaving me with two vorts, which even then was a game of cat and mouse, waiting for the second vort to kill the actual vort. I don't like where this is going. We beat him! We didn't do anything but... <laughs> yeah! And all that was left was killing the fake vort. No! There we go. <laughs> I rested at the bonfire and ended up reviving all the vorts that were just killed. <laughs> yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I... What? Now having four Vorts respawn, as you can expect, healed me a few times. <laughs> but once we raised our banner, it gave us entry into the undead settlement. You're, you're a fucking idiot. Bonfire. This area was a bloodbath. I was included in the bloodbath. In order to make it so the dogs don't kill me, I had to team up with the Hollows in killing them. They ended up being the background characters in Endgame, but it's not like I needed their help. Got the turtle NPC, Yol. Killed Yol's copies. Oh, okay. Pulled a lever. Yeet! Rested at the undead settlement bonfire. What's up, what it comes? Now we're gonna take a detour to go die four times trying to get the cell key for Grey Rat. We're back at undead settlement, slaughtering all the farm workers. <laughs> Guilty. And getting stabbed by many Grey Rats. But why? I then died ten more times in the same area because I forgot you can just roll off the edge here. Stupid. I use fire bombs to cause a nuclear explosion of enemies. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sacrifice my life for an Estus Shard. Estus Shard, thank you. Bye. Right. And an Ember. Yep, I died for it. Ran past the mob of enemies. Estus. Ran past the shit throwers and red-eyed hollows. I am disgusted. And with a bit of luck. No, no, no. Got to the bonfire. From the bonfire, we get to witness a UFC match between four Hodricks. Guess who won? I couldn't even kill him. Time for an upgrade. We're using the Wing Knight Halberd now. 
and it's plus two. Time for the archer area. No, God! The hardest part about archers with the five times mobs is the archer himself and the enemies blocking the door to the next area. So we have to buy time for the archers to kill the enemies. And once he's done, we can access the next area, AKA whatever the hell you want to call this convoluted mess. Yeah, the FPS don't like this one, but I'm going to the checkpoint before I head to the boss. Death, and death again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Okay, I decided not to head for the checkpoint. What is that? And instead headed to the tree ball guys. I led them to the door frame of the arena so they can take care of all the mobs. Oh my god. Damn boy, he fit! <laughs> the pancake of the century. Once they killed all the mobs lined up, I booked it to the actual boss himself since he's the only one we have to kill, not the four doppelgangers roaming the arena. Now it's time to slap his balls. Hey yo, what the fuck? Over and over again till they pop. So then he'll decide to break the floor. And while fall damage applies to the actual boss himself, it doesn't apply to the doppelgangers. So they die, leaving me and the boss to get down to business. Life is good. After popping his balls and giving him a few more hits, I cleared the third boss. Yes! We did it! <laughs> and just like the Vort bonfire, this one was soft locked as well. This time it's by an NPC, and they were not friendly. Luckily, we have homeward bones. Bye. Leveling time. Now, instead of getting the checkpoint in the sewers, we'll grab the bonfire under the bridge. Jesus Christ. But first, we will grab the fire clutch ring, then bonfire. Time to save the pyromancer, dude. <laughs> Never mind. No, I'm actually going to save him. A death means nothing to me at this point. I'm numb. And that's a fact. From the bonfire, we get to see the bridge of despair. With some luck, however, we can cross it easily. Talk to this dude. <laughs> open up this door and hear me out i know we said no sewer checkpoint but i need the faith girl for her miracles so welcome to getting mauled again this is my favorite part spin to win baby open this door it's time to face skeletons a lot of skeletons but the wing knight halberg moveset made this a walk in the park then i eventually made it to this area with the pot enemies in the army of never-ending rats and it was too good to not try to plunge attack them all no i must ha ah! Oh! <laughs> now I have to get past the rat area again, and the skeleton area, to make it back to the ladder. Arena seems to have upgraded security in this small cell. Full blurry, mall cop. So I came out swinging. Get the f out of my way! Until I could eventually touch her, which I'm not very used to doing. I'm a virgin! Now that arena's gone, time to kill all the doppelgangers. <laughs> This gives me more reasons to kill NPCs in the future. Oh, hello there, Sigurd. Hmm. Oh, and he's aggressive now. Now I have to fight against five demons. No! And an angry onion, which was too much for me to handle, so I ran away. And then died to the demons and a few times trying to get to the elevator. So I gave up on doing that and headed down. Oh, hi, Sigurd. Pay for your sins, bitch. He ended up dropping all his armor, sword, and shield, which made killing him so much more worth it. Time to juke the hell out of these dancer enemies. Weave! Oh, no. Weave! Oh, oh, weave! Oh, oh. What can I say? I'm a god. I press him! I press the roll! Ah. Back to Firelink we go. Grab Great Combustion. Lord have mercy, I'm about to combust. Use the tower key. Grab the Firekeeper soul. This jump seems easy. Gravity. I shouldn't have risked it. <laughs> this jump seems... Oh, Gravity. Oh. This jump... Gravity. I did it again. I did it again. All right. and grab the Estus Ring. We're ready for the Road of Sacrifices now, luring one enemy at a time in order to guarantee we don't get ganked. We finally got a juicy plunge attack, Onita. followed up by near-death experiences, I can tell you, ooh, and a lot of running. I had to roll off this bridge in order to get some, oh, oh, my leg. some useful items, but we dead. Next round, we rolled off the bridge again and got the Morn's Ring and the Faith Book we were looking for. Thank you. Did someone say death? Yes, they did. Bonfire. Welcome to the swamp, where we have to deal with all these enemies. Oh, come on, man. And these enemies? I hate you. And these enemies. Excuse me, why? I love this mod. After some running... Oh! There's so many of them! There's just so many! Eh! Ah! Roll to the bonfire! Ah! 
I ended up in Mario's fever dream. Oh, oh Mamma mia! mia. Oh, Mamma mia! mia. 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 To the game crash, which is quite common in this area, but it gave me the chance to get a bonfire, which was short-lived by a crash. But we're back and ready to go to Crystal Sage. Jesus Christ! Luckily, I had summons that I didn't summon to help me out, but my real objective was getting the Estus Shard. So I rolled off this bridge. YOLO! Got killed. Went the other way around and got the Estus Shard. Okay, Estus Shard, thank you. Now we're prepared to kill the Crystal Sage, which like the Swordman from before, didn't get duplicated. Blame the mod, not me. I just play games. I actually died this round to the Crystal Sage. You are trash! And getting back wasn't that easy, but I made sure on this attempt, I absolutely slayed this wannabe Big Hat Logan Crystal Sage. <laughs> yeah, boy. Now the bonfire is mine, and I can TP back to Firelink to do some upgrading and kill these imposters. Hey look, the stream got an upgrade. It's time to cross the swamp. This time I didn't crash, at least till I made it to the stairs. Like the gingerbread man I am, ah! I ran my way past the enemies to the ladder, making it to the bonfire. Yes! You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Do you not understand that? Oh God, it's the fair and keep. I'm gonna have quite a few crashes here. The items I picked up consisted of poison moss clumps, random articles of clothing, an Estus shard, titanite shards, sage's coal, a great sword, and an undead bone shard. Oh, and let me tell you about all the dying, cause there's no way in hell I made it through this area without dying at least once. I died by getting slugged, by getting asphyxiated, by getting gangbang. <laughs> more than once. Oh, come on. I need to get that by getting blasted to infinity and beyond. And by getting sneak attack. Stop it. Okay. All those deaths weren't for nothing, though, as I was able to stop the flames and those stone pillar things. I would like to give this clip no context whatsoever other than... Hey, please, hey, please, hey, please. Okay, now with Farron Keep explored, we can get the bonfire next to the wolf dude. Now it's time to go kill some asylum demons, which went as well as you think it did. But with some luck, they did end up killing each other. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Which allowed me to see these beautiful spectacles of asylum demon chicken nugget legs. Oh, and I picked up the Dream Chaser's Ash. Now because the door is open, we can make our way past the Dark Wraiths. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. And light this bonfire. We can run past all the enemies attacking each other here and just go right to the Abyss Watcher's door. And what a spectacle this boss was. <laughs> Not only did the boss duplicate five times, but so did his clones and the red eye dudes that attacked the other Farons. That's why there was fighting at the beginning. But to sum all that up, there are 15 watchers that spawn, 10 who want me dead, and another five who don't. Once again, I love this mod. The closest I got during this fight was getting to second phase, but who would have guessed that the copies carry over from first phase? And all these attempts I did took about 10 minutes each of me running around the arena in hopes I don't die and I can get a hit off on the boss. I thought of dropping it down to four times, but I instead opted to explore the cathedral, which my god was the worst decision I've ever made. But here we go. I teleported to the road of sacrifice bonfire, jumped down these rocks, picked up some armor, got a bonfire, and paladin's ashes. Thank you. Faced an army of teleporting Cerberuses, they made up with their lack of heads with their numbers. Okay. With patience, I made it to the door and lit this bonfire. This next segment I like to call death. This was the least amount of fun I've had throughout this entire run. You, you, you like jazz? jazz? I'm seriously thinking I'm becoming a masochist at this point. Help me. The route consisted of me spinning my way through the army of Coomers, which killed me a few times. On the chance I made it past the Coomers, I then had to cross the bridge of ulterior motives. So unlike normal bridges, this one was blocked half the time and they sometimes felt the need to push me off. <laughs> Once I got past the bridge, I'm introduced to Scissor Fingers. But in the rare case I pass them, I end up running past the bombers here and the gray rats here. Bitch. To then reach this arrow area where you have to make this jump and then drop down to then book it to the corner. And then you have to wait here for a few minutes for all the enemies to walk by. <laughs> and then ta-da, we made it to the checkpoint. Yes! Six hours, it was like four hours, six hours. Six hours! Next checkpoint wasn't as difficult since all it required me to do was run away from all these enemies and avoid all the gray rats fighting the invaders. I, I see this as an absolute win. With this checkpoint unlocked, we can go to the upper levels of the cathedral, which is full of arrow guys. There's a lot of lag. There is a lot of. Damn it! God, God damn it! God damn it! 
trick. So I decided to stick to the deacons, which meant dying to the gray rats a few more times after these giants who also killed me a few times. <laughs> We have an army of white summons to help work as distractions for us to open the main door of the cathedral. With opening the cathedral door, we're able to get patches so he could trap us in this room. Let me in. Let me in. And once we safely get down, patches will allow us to get an infinite number of alluring skulls, which we need for deacons. <laughs> Speaking of deacons, here they are. <laughs> <laughs> you might think this is going to be difficult, but you must have forgotten who I am. Spin to win all day, baby. But yeah, once I reached second phase, my luck wasn't as good. God damn! The next round, I made sure to prioritize the blue guys who summon the black balls. And with that being said, the fight is over. I... Yeah! Now we're ready for the watchers. No, learning skills don't work on them. So all that prep was for nothing. Yeah. I do want to point out that the summons that carry over to the second phase of the boss are ones that are direct copies of the boss. So basically, the ones with more health need to be killed in the first phase in order for there just to be one watcher for second phase. I'm built different. Which isn't easy, but sure as hell possible with enough time and energy. Yes! yes! Thank God. Now with the catacombs open, we can die to skeletons. But other than dying... <laughs> <laughs> We're able to grab a few items here, such as the undead bone shard and Carthus ring. Getting to the bonfire felt impossible with all the skeletons, but with some routing and more death, I was able to make it to the bonfire next to the boulder. Sometimes my patience would get the best of me and I would die to the boulder, but it allowed me to get past the rats most of the time. Nice which then I was bombarded with those rogue skeleton dudes that are way too fast for their own good. And past the skeleton dudes is the small nation of skeletons that have decided to be hostile towards me. No, this was not fun to deal with. You want to know how I got past the skeleton nation? Well, I used a method called quitting the game. No, seriously, quitting the game reset all the enemies for a brief second, allowing me to edge my way towards the bridge. With enough quitouts, I ran to the bridge, hitting it to avoid an onslaught from the skeletal nation. The other reason I hit it was to go down and run past these five demons to the bonfire, since I don't want to deal with skeletons anymore. Don't you think I've died enough? With this bonfire, I made it a safety net in case I died to Wolnir, which won't happen because I'm a god. And because once I got into the bonfire, the copies of Wolnir kind of just died? I am confused. Leaving me to break Wolnir's rings and GG way too easy. We did it. Yay. <laughs> We're now in Irithul and I do hate this area. And not because the lizard dudes blocking this path. They were easy enough to run past. But because of these Irithul knights that hunt you down like the plague. I suffered quite a bit in this area and even when passing the knights, it wasn't much better. God damn it. Not only did these fire dudes block the path to the next area, but they couldn't even be distracted with luring skulls. So I set forth back to Crucifixion Woods to talk to Orbeck and make him return to Firelink. I then went to Fair and Keep to unlock a bonfire and get the Golden Scroll, which once given to Orbeck allows us to purchase Hidden Body as long as we have 15 Intelligence, which we didn't, but that can be solved with some soul grinding. It took a bit to get used to Hidden Body, but with it I was able to sneak past the Olympic Pedestal Knights, my invisible body, and get to the bonfire. At the bonfire, I killed these sussy bakas to get the chameleon spell. Past the bonfire, I got an undead bone shard and learned that dogs can still see you with hidden body activated. And past the dogs was a small country of super saiyan black hollows to kill me. How lovely. Alright, this video is taking me way too long to make, so... Like for part two.